Youngstown police, meanwhile, are also looking for the public's help tonight solving what they're calling the city's latest murder case. Yeah, that one happened on the east side. And First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us where police had gone for another shooting call about two weeks ago. The calls from this house started coming around 6.30 this morning. Atkinson, my brother got shot. The same house on this. Two weeks ago, please hurry up. The caller identified herself as the sister of Ronald Lewis. She told the dispatcher she was hiding in a first floor bathroom while her brother was upstairs. She said she had been sleeping when two men came through the back door. They had masks on. How many were there? Please. I'll just comment. We've got people coming. How many were there, though? Two. But the woman then added her brother might not be the only one hurt. There might be two people because their wife and husband. Okay, the, your, his wife's there too? Yes. Ultimately, police found both the 49-year-old Lewis and his 40-year-old wife Tracy in an upstairs bedroom. We're told Ronald was dead when officers arrived while his wife was taken to surgery at St. E's. Two weeks ago, police had been called to this same house, finding Ronald's half-brother, Javal Bates. He had been shot outside a home on Josephine a few blocks away and managed to drive himself over here. Police confirm Bates died on Wednesday of his injuries. At this point, detectives are not making any specific connections between the two incidents other than the relationship between the two men. We're told both had been in and out of jail over the years for various offenses. Tonight, investigators are still looking for suspects and are asking anyone with information to contact either the YPD or Greater Youngstown Crime Stoppers. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.